let's talk about color. I have here a color image and my scopes over here, vector scope, waveform, histogram, RGB parade. Color, as we perceive it, is composed of two different components. Luminance, or brightness, which is measured by the waveform monitor, and chrominance, or color, which is measured by these other scopes, RGB parade, histogram, and vector scope. These are all color measurers. I'm going to split this screen in half. This is brightness. How bright is it? How dark is it? This is color level. How much color do we have? No color? Lots of color. In the computer world, we measure color in RGB, or red, green, and blue, and the scale is 0 for black and 255 for white. In the film world, the yardstick is IRE. IRE goes from 7.5 to 100. Confusing? You bet. Let's throw in more confusion. 7.5 IRE is not really equal to 0. It's really equal to 16.5. And 100 is not really equal to 255. It's really equal to 234, which brings up the concept of legal colors. NTSC requires that colors be in the range of 16 to 234 RGB. Anything below or above is considered an illegal color and will cause distortion. Note that the range of the color bars goes from 9 to 234. Safe. This image here has illegal colors, as does this one. Something to keep in mind. This image looks fine, you say. Why would we need to color correct it? I can give you two real-world examples. Number one, this shot and this shot are from two different days. I want them to match a lot better than they do. A piece of cake for Vegas color correction tools. Second application. I wish to create a stylized look, like Sin City or any other style that I wish to create, using color. 